Hey guys, welcome back to The Makeup Loft. First time meeting you guys, my name is Becky. And today I will be talking about my Maybelline favorites. Yeah, so I'll be, you know, getting ready to go out. It's Saturday night today. But first, can we have a moment of silence for the fact that a girl like me can shop at Priceline or a drugstore and get my shade like guys. So now let's get started. One of my favorite products that I like using now that it's winter. So that's their Face Studio Primer and it has hyaluronic acid. You know, it's 2019. If you're not really using hyaluronic acid in your skincare, then this is a great way to introduce it. It's a nice creamy texture as well. It plays as a moisturizer. Oh, it just feels so good. I am gonna go with my second favorite product, which is a great dupe for a lot of the luxury brands. It's the Tattoo Brow. I don't think eyebrows need to really take as long as people say it should take. It's like a natural, Finish. I feel like this works better before foundation as to after foundation. And the good thing about this as well is that it dries matte. You know people you're like, you know, don't touch the face, but just in case someone touches the face, you know you're good. All right, so now that I'm done with my eyebrows, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it. And I'm actually gonna use, again, one of my favorites, but the one I like using for my eyebrows are the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm gonna be using the color 45 in tan, so they're really nice and compact, great to travel with as well. They're not as heavy. And then, this is the trick. This is what makes my eyebrows not look, not have that halo effect, where it's like, okay, you're clearly lining your eyebrows. So I use a slightly darker concealer to conceal the top, and I'm using the color 60. You know how that blends in with my skin tone, so it's not too highlighty, but it just gives you that nice shade. So next, I will be going in with my Eyeshadow. One of my favorite mini palettes, the City mini palette. Maybe because I'm, you know, low key a city girl. Just good bronzes, good browns. Um, it suits every skin tone. Looks beautiful on also darker skin tone as well. It's just easy. You can take looks from day to night. And also, I'm going to be going in with the other City mini palette. The other one was Shimmer. And this one is matte. They work well together. So in the matte palette, I'm gonna be going in with that shade right there for my crease. I'll be going in with that dark brown shade. It's just a good transition color. And then going in with that dark brown shade that we mentioned before. There's nothing better than when a look is coming together. And then, going back to one of the products I mentioned before, which was one of my favorites, which is the Maybelline Concealer. I'm gonna be doing a cut crease with this. Whew. Sometimes cut creases go well, sometimes they don't. And today, it's gone well, honey, it's gone good. So I'm gonna set my cut crease and that same mini palette that we used before, I'm gonna be using that shade. So now in my other favorite palette, I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful golden color and also with that bronze color as well right next to it. And look at that pigment. And then the other bronze shade that I said I was gonna go for. And I'm just gonna put it on the outer, like seriously. This is God S. It kind of fits, because I'm going out to the city, gonna go have a little dance. So now going back in with that dark brown crease shade, I'm just gonna be blending in the outside. To finish off the eye look, I am going to go with a hyper sharp wing liner. People always ask me how I do my wing liners. Felt tip or brush tip, best tip. So, see what I was doing there? Mm-hmm, like look at that. Done. Mm. 
If I add some highlight just on the top of my brow, set that concealer in. So next I'm gonna go in with foundation. So now I have four shades with me, which are these ones. Okay, that didn't work. Four different shades that are close to me. Guys, guys. Oh. <gasps> I'm so excited. Four different shades that could all fit me. See what I did there? I'm just gonna do a little bit of a color swatch on my face just to see if it is Fitting. So lame sometimes. That's the 360. I go in with 362. And it's giving me a bit of a cooler shade. 365. And that's a bit peachy. So this is the 360, 362, 365. And then I have the 368, which I think might be my summer shade. Oh yeah, actually that works too. I'm more of a neutral undertone. Sometimes golden, golden to neutral undertone, but I'd rather go neutral and then go golden with my concealer. I think I'm gonna go with the 360 because the girl's been hibernating all winter. Oof, look at that fit. 360, dude, is my shade. Now, going in with one of the products I haven't tried yet, which will be a first impression, but the way my first impression's been going today, I think it's gonna be good. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. It has like a cushion applicator. I like the way it fits the name of the actual product, which is Age Rewind shade. So the shade I'm using is Tan. And you know what? It's infused with goji berry. Really good properties for your skin and anti-aging and for your under eye. So this one's a good warmer golden kind of shade, which is perfect. So voila guys, so that's my makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much and see you later. <laughs> One of the tricks that I've learned from years and years of wearing makeup is I always leave my concealer on for around two minutes, maybe go check the phone, take out the trash, check myself out in the mirror and see this bomb look. The opacity of the concealer is so much better. I didn't have to color correct. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, you okay, you okay, you okay. I kind of don't really need contour. I mean, I have, my cheekbones are kind of extra. This is what I do. Okay, this is what I do. So with that same foundation that we're using, I'm gonna go in with the color 370. I don't like too much contour. I can't even look at myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and set my face. And that's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer just to finish that look off. So now, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. This is the Master Chrome. Look at that sheen. I am so ready for that. Now my face is set. I wanna just finish off the rest of that makeup look that we were doing earlier we're going back in with that shade and that shade okay so now that we're done with our lip liner we are going to go in with the lipsticks so these are the maybelline lipsticks they blend in so well they're so moisturizing it feels like it's just like a lip butter the shade I'm gonna be going in with is the 373 which is a nice mauve shade to match the transition color for my eye look. Sometimes you don't want something too bold. Fine. What are you gonna say? So guys, that's the final makeup look. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm all dressed up, ready to go, ready to hit the town. Yes, yes, yes. So make sure you guys subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft and share. And also hit us up on Instagram. Thank you, see ya.